probably like second grade um, is when I realized that I was set apart from most kids. My bio mom and bio dad both were addicted to meth. My bio mom had gotten arrested again um, and that was the final time we were taken away. That led to us being put into foster care. To be honest, I don't really remember what that transition felt like, but my best guess is that it's just it was too painful to remember and so my body built up a mental block to help me survive. Stayed in foster care in and out, different foster homes until I was 10, 11, when I got adopted. One night, uh, my adoptive mom and I were arguing. She was said, fine, if you don't wanna live here, you can leave and my adoptive dad then brought me to Hayes House. I slept here for the next month until I went to the Idaho Youth Ranch in Rupert. When I arrived at the Rupert campus, I was so nervous, I didn't know what to expect. So I had a horse that I connected with a lot. I would just brush her and it would be so calming. I think the biggest emotion I felt with that horse was the first time that I put her lead rope over her neck and she followed me. I actually started crying because she loved me and wanted to be with me. In my tool belt that the ranch provided me is respect, responsibility, work ethic, and being able to recognize my emotions and or change them. The Nicole I am now and the Nicole that's still getting worked on, they're one and the same. I am this bright, bubbly, happy person and I still have that little bit of um, inside shell, but it's who I am and I am perfectly good with who I am. <laughs> I think the youth ranch is special because they actually care. My future did not look good when I arrived at the ranch, and it does now thanks to them.